Hey guys and happy Monday. It is January 13th and this is week two of quarter three so yay. So today is finally a short release day. I'm so excited. Um, we haven't had one since like the first quarter like the second week of school. So super excited for that. The kids get out just an hour earlier, um, but that means we have an extra hour of planning, which is really nice. Um, I did get one set of grades already done for last week through uh, do now and reading logs for week one. Um, I have two more classes to grade, so hopefully I can get another um, class done today after school and then finish up the last class tomorrow. That is the plan. Um, this week we are continuing on with workshop five, Contagion. So we talked about tiny invaders today and uh, did it in a small group. We only have like 10 minutes during whole group during this short day. Um, so we do a really quick like do now, maybe talk about some vocabulary, and then we go right into rotations. So that's what they were doing in rotations today. So far, so good. <laughs> so that's always nice. Um, at the end of the week, though, Thursday and Friday, we're taking our fair test at the me media center. So they'll be on the computers for that. So that <laughs> hopefully will be a nice, easy day for me. But um I always get a little nervous taking my class anywhere just because of behavior problems and everything. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, so that is that. I had to have my laptop be re-imaged to um, Windows 10 because they were on Windows 7. And I have a, she was able to give me like a loner laptop, which is nice, but it's so different. I can't wait to get my laptop back. Should be like tomorrow afternoon, she said, so yay. Um, so yeah, so that's it for today. Just been grading and stuff. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, and happy Tuesday. It is January 14th, 2020. Um, so yesterday, my camera died. Um, I forgot to charge it over the weekend. And so I don't know how much uh, video I will actually have had from yesterday. Um, but today, what the kids are doing is finishing up their story from yesterday. So yesterday they did Tiny Invaders because we're on workshop five called Contagion. And so yesterday it was mostly about the Spanish flu. And then today they talked about four new um, diseases. So we talked about smallpox, Ebola, the plague, and chloria. So those were the four, and we're talking about like the causes of it and what the symptoms are and different things like that. So very interesting stuff and a lot of good questions that the kids are coming up with. So that's what they're doing today. Uh, tomorrow there's a author's purpose that they're going to do. And then it's fair testing for Thursday and Friday. So that's cool. I'm excited. <laughs> um, I've been telling the students though that this fair test is important it shows them like the percentage like the percentile of what they might get on the FSA in the fall so we'll see about that um, so yeah that is that or not fall but spring I guess it is I don't know I don't know um, but yeah so that's what they're doing so far it's a good day I did get one new student today in my last block she's a really nice student um, really good i feel a little bit bad because they she kind of like went under ra radar she should have been in my class at the beginning of the year um because she scored a level one however she was in band and um avid and sh they just now switched her schedule so i feel bad that she's going from you know having two electives to not having any electives um but I think she's going to be a good addition to the class. So, um, so that was that, and then that's about it. So, I think I'm going to go. Um, I did work out yesterday, so 
how exciting is that? My hubby actually met me over at the gym, um, which is not very far from the school, and we worked out together, so that was nice. Um, and then we went home and had dinner, <laughs> so, you know, good stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, today I'm not sure if I'm going to be going to the gym or not. I probably should. I know that I should. I'll probably go. I have my gym back bag already packed and in my car so um so yeah that's that that's it for today um and i will talk to you guys next time <laughs> bye hey guys and happy wednesday it is hump day Woo i'm so excited so today first i gotta show you my very cute shirts it says a whole llama learning going on Oh yeah, it's amazing. Um, so today we have been doing author's purpose. And so we are trying to figure out why the author wrote Tiny Invaders. Was it to inform us, persuade us, or to entertain us? So uh, that's what they're working on today. Um, it's going very well. My first period class though, got interrupted multiple times. Um, so first of all, we had to do the like expectations, the school-wide expectations again from the beginning of the year, which is absolutely fine, but it took like 20 minutes. It was crazy. So that took a lot of time. And then we had a lockdown drill and a fire drill. So that took almost 30 minutes of time. So two of my rotations actually didn't get to do their small group stuff. And then tomorrow we do fair testing. So we really aren't going to be able to look at it um, until next week, like on Wednesday. So kind of bummed about that. It was going so smoothly and then all of that stuff happened. So whatever. Um, what is going on with my hair today? Whew, it's like, I just rather it be messy and just oh, all over the place. Let's see, let's see. Is that better? Huh, kind of. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so that is that. And then what else? That's pretty much it so far. I did get all my grading done from last week. So yay. All I have to do is put it in the grade book. So that's fun and exciting. So my camera just turned off. That was weird. So, so anyway, we took all the decorations off of the door and it just looks a hot mess it's got like this old tape on it and the paint is coming off in weird splotches um, so I was like okay we won the door decorating contest I have to have something on the door so I was scouring the internet and I found this really cute one with a Starbucks coffee latte to be exact and so then it says we love read 180 that's what my door is gonna say we love read 180 a latte ah, isn't that cute love puns on words and then since valentine's day is coming i'm going to have the kids do hearts and talk about why they love read 180 for instance they're amazing teacher hint hint <laughs> you know and the rotations and the computers and the books that they get to read and stuff stuff like that so I will probably be selective of what hearts I put up on, on the uh, door out there but I think that would be really cute and fun and I have really been loving Starbucks lately so um, with all that being said I made myself a gigantic latte how fun does that look I love it Yay. Um, the center piece I just took from the internet <laughs> and stuff. My I was telling my hubby about this and he was like, make sure you don't get copyrighted and stuff. And I'm like, I think it's going to be fine. It's going to be on my school door. But anyway, so Starbucks, if you want to sponsor my classroom, that's absolutely appreciated. We love you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so that is that. I'm going to put that on the uh, door. I have a yellow background. And then this will be on it. And then I'm working on the We Love Read 180 a Latte. So um, we'll see how that goes. A part of me wants the kids to cut out the letters. Another part of me is like, I could probably do it on my Cricut a lot easier. And another part of me is like, let me just do it myself. <laughs> so um, that's what's going on so far. I will definitely let you know how the door goes. Hopefully it will be done by 
this vlog and um, you can see it the finished product so um, I think that's it for now I'm gonna go work on those letters and I will chat back up with you guys later bye hey guys so it is now the end of the day and this is real life this is how my desk normally looks after an actual day minus the we love read 180 <laughs> but that's what I've been working on um, so we love read 180 a latte ah! and so tomorrow we will put that on the board or not the board but the door and all that good stuff so I'm really excited about it um, so yay what else the day ended up very well tomorrow like I said we have our fair testing I think what I'm gonna do is have the kids come in do 20 minutes of reading well do their do now do 20 minutes of reading and then um, we'll go to the library and do our fair testing that's the plan for today or well for tomorrow and then um, that way they'll still do their do now they'll still do their reading log and we'll be set to go on that um, so I will let you know how that goes tomorrow I also want to come in kind of early though to kind of look at the media center to see how many computers they have so I can have some sort of seating chart for when we go because I always get a little nervous going into a new place with my kiddos um, I know they're gonna rock it <laughs> however you know I have to take precautions so that's what we're going to do and I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your week and night and I will see you guys tomorrow bye one last thing before I go I have to tell you this because it was <laughs> so much fun I had my last period class in hysterics it was awesome <laughs> um, they were laughing so much because I was reading the, the story to them and we do oral close so when I pause at a word they're supposed to say it well for well I know it's the end of the day and stuff so the kids are usually like very like monotone and they just like two out of the 16 like say the word so I told them like I need some enthusiasm here I need <laughs> some energy I will feed off of your energy so I was like dancing around while I was reading I was like really getting into it like you know a spokesperson so I was laughing I was dancing around it was just I had a good time the I enjoyed having the kids laugh at me <laughs> um, because I know that they were kind of having at least a little bit of a good time even if they were laughing at my expense um, <laughs> so it was really great um, and that I want to do more of that but huh, these kids just drain you um, so anyway wanted to tell you a little bit about that because it was really fun and exciting so okay really going now and I will talk to you guys later bye hey guys and happy Thursday it is January 16th and today I'm a little defeated uh, deflated defeated that's how I'm feeling <laughs> um, so the kids have been really good today, to be completely honest with you, um, even my first period. <laughs> um, but we are going to the media, well first, they come in, they're doing their uh, do now. We have 20 minutes of silent reading, and knock on wood, like the kids have been quiet during those 20 minutes, which has been awesome. I've been able to actually read my book <laughs> that I've been reading. Um, and then we're going to the library and doing our fair testing. Well, my first period class was done in like 15 minutes like this is a, this is a test to show how they're going to do on the FSA which is the Florida State assessment and they're done in 15 minutes there's like four parts to it including stories that they have to read and answer questions about it so that right there got me a little frustrated like you're not taking this seriously and I specifically just told you to take your time we have three days to complete it like don't rush and that's that's what they do so that was frustrating then actually looking at their scores they're low like real low like 0.15 percent of passing the FSA some of their scores are even going like lower than at the beginning of the year which then makes me feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to 
but I don't know what else to do for them because it's like I can't take the test for you you have to actually be listening and paying attention so yeah so that's been frustrating so I printed out this letter that you can send out to parents so I'm sending those home with the kids tomorrow and hopefully like they have to tell me that they got it somehow either a text email write me a note back sign it date it whatever like let me know that your parents saw it and I'll give you a grade in the grade book because I need them to know that you need some extra support at home I can't do it in the two hours that I see you every day <laughs> uh, you have to get some more support at home so yeah <laughs> so anyway I know I shouldn't take it so personally um, and I know that I beat myself up about it when it's really nothing that nothing else I can do but you know it always feels a lot better when the kids are actually performing their best and you know <laughs> raising their scores instead of not raising their scores but all the kids that are not raising their scores like I could tell you why behavior not coming to school you know different things like that so you know but again the state doesn't see that the state just sees your scores they just see you as a number so anyway that's my little spiel on that but like I said other than that the kids have behavior wise have been doing pretty good my first period class was a little rambunctious at the very beginning and the very end of class but they were able to hold it together for most of the day um, so yeah tomorrow is basically the same thing um, so that's you know that's what it is uh, luckily though I'll have some major time to do data chats in the library because most of my kids are already finished so there's that as well um, yeah I have been working on the door so that's cool um, I'm liking it and how it's turning out. I'll show you the finished product when it's done. My plan is, I think I said this already, but my plan is to have the kids do little hearts and like actually write down what they love about Read 180. So we'll see. Every year is a little bit different. Like one year I did something not quite like this, but something similar to it. And the kids had like amazing things to say about Read 180. And then like this year, I just, I'm not sure how we have what they're going to say or how they're going to say it so we'll uh we'll see how that goes <laughs> okay well i'm gonna get back to it and i will talk to you guys um probably tomorrow <laughs> bye hey guys and happy friday it is actually the end of the day and i am about to go home but i wanted to do a quick recap of what happened today because it was a jam-packed day we went back to the library to finish up our fair testing which went pretty well um i only have three kids that need to finish up their fair testing and then the rest of the kids basically just read um and then I showed them what their scores were. So that's going to be great. They have to get it signed and returned. And then, yeah, I was able to get lots of grades done. So I put four grades in the grade book and they're all caught up now. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, and then I was able to finish up my door yesterday, I think. So I will insert that here. I think it's gonna be even more fun um, when the kids put why they love Read 180 on there as well. So overall a pretty good day uh, and it is a three-day weekend so woo -woo. Um, so yeah so I will chat with you guys later thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't done so already please make sure that you like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you guys in the next one bye